This morning, authorities say the deadly mass shooting at the end of the Kansas City Chiefs victory parade started as a personal dispute that exploded into violence. Two juveniles are in custody. Preliminary investigative findings have shown there was no nexus to terrorism or homegrown violent extremism. One person was killed and more than 20 others wounded, where at least half of them were children under the age of 16. The youngest injured just eight years old. One father, Jacob Gooch, was caught in the gunfire. When I see smoke coming out of my ankle, people rushing me. I turn to try to start running and I collapse to the ground because obviously I can't, couldn't run, had a been shot through my ankle. His girlfriend and one of his sons also shot, all recovering now from injuries to the feet and legs. I couldn't help get our kids and that killed me. I had to sit there and just wonder what was going to happen next. Two men seen in this video praised by police for taking down one of the suspects. I didn't hesitate. It was just, just do it. The shooting happened despite the presence of more than 800 police officers in the area. First responders were nearby to quickly help the wounded. And last night, a vigil for 43-year-old Lisa Lopez Galvin. Many, including her brother, mourning the mother of two and local radio host. This is another example of a real loving, real human whose life was taken tragically with a senseless act. Some security experts are raising the question whether 800 officers were enough, saying it's likely the public will see increased security at events like this as law enforcement makes changes in response to mass shootings. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.